Love yourself. That's the first step to a selfie is loving yourself and being confident to show your face to the world because you are beautiful. Hey dolls. All right. So minor setback. I lost my remote for my camera. So if the autofocus lens is kind of loud and obnoxious, I apologize. Please bear with me on that. I either need to find my remote or I need to buy a new one. But I did want to get on here and make kind of a fun video for you guys. I had been seeing these kinds of videos floating around YouTube for a couple years now, ever since the selfie became popular. A lot of gurus or even like comedians and stuff on YouTube would post these how to take the perfect selfie uh, videos and they'd like make fun of it or like you know, pretend to do just funny, stupid things. I want to make one of those videos for you guys, mainly because I get a lot of serious questions on it. It is the day and age of the smartphone and Instagram and social media, and quite a few of my followers are going through that time in their life where they want to take selfies and they don't want to be ashamed of the way they look and they just, you know, just want to wanna feel good about themselves or maybe they want to post a cute little picture of themselves as a profile picture on something. I am here to show you guys how I take mine and so hopefully maybe this will give you some tips or tricks or ideas of how to manipulate your own like routine as far as taking selfies or taking group shots or whatever. Also keep in mind that this is just my specific way of doing things. You don't have to do something like this at all whatsoever. Um, also I have been getting lots of requests on how I edit my Instagram photos and I'm gonna be doing an updated one of those soon and I will link it below. So check the description box for that. And now that this has been a crazy long intro, let's get into taking some pictures. Okay, now as for what you are taking your photos with, you can have an iPhone 4, you can have an Android, you can have whatever you want. Um, I will say one thing though, that regardless of what smartphone you have, usually the back camera is better quality, it has a better quality outcome than the front camera. So if you want to use the front camera, you can. Just make sure you're in more decent lighting rather than maybe in your bedroom or something. Just a, an area that is very well lit, such as outside. Outside is a great, amazing place to take pictures because it is natural lighting. You wanna try and get the most natural lighting as possible because it will make the picture look more sharp and crisp. So you definitely want to pay attention to lighting. Uh, currently right now for my videos, I uh, use a ring light and a lot of people will use those uh, for studio portraits or what have you, but don't think that you have to have this fancy, fancy lighting in order to get a good selfie. Most of my selfies are taken next to a big picture window or just outside in general. Also, if you are taking pictures outside, you want to avoid direct sunlight. Maybe go to a place where it's a little bit shady, such as under a tree or um, underneath the awning of a house just anywhere where it's shady or overcast because you don't want direct sunlight on your skin because it's gonna wash you out in the photo and everything. So that is a tip for lighting. If you do intend to use the back camera of your device, like so, um, you definitely want to maybe get a mirror um, and have kind of on the other side of your phone so you can see exactly what you're doing. But one of the tricks that I like to use is to line up the camera, the little camera lens, to your nose. And then that way, no matter which way you have it, if it's lined up with your nose, you're guaranteed to probably be in the shot, unless you have it like way up here. Macro selfie. And keep in mind that with iPhones, you can usually use this, the up and down volumes to take pictures. So if you were doing it this way, you could actually hold your phone like this and then click the little top button. It's one of the amazing inventions that a lot of people have nowadays is the famous selfie stick. A majority of them, they have this little um, plug and you just plug it right in where you would plug the earphones in and then you extend the little selfie stick out however far you want and you to take the picture would press the little button at the bottom right here. So that is an option is a selfie stick. Now as far as actually taking the picture goes, I guess the best advice I can say is figure out what's your best side and play with it. Take as many pictures as you want and then pick your favorite. Don't be afraid to use different um, facial expressions or if you have a prop of some sort, like a necklace, maybe just like hold it up. Just have fun with it. That's the whole point of a selfie is having fun and showing your face to the world. Just take a selfie as if you're saying, look world, this is me. Don't like it, I don't care.
And then sometimes if you feel a little bit cautious of this area, or like you feel like if you hold your phone a certain way, it makes a certain part of your body look a little bit bigger. Um, I struggle with that sometimes, like my shoulder might look a little bit more broad depending on the angle. But what you can do is hold the phone up a little bit higher and make it come like down on you. And my boyfriend actually makes fun of me because when he does Snapchat pictures, he takes them like this. But when I take Snapchat pictures, I hold it up like this. So you guys can kind of get an idea of how I take my selfies. Um, I don't know if this was helpful or if it wasn't, but it had been highly, highly, highly requested, strangely. Then again, it's not really strange, because like I said, we're in the day and age where social media is huge, and obviously we are taking selfies like crazy. Um, celebrities do, everyday people do, I do. I just, I just get a kick out of taking pictures, not necessarily just of myself, but I feel like you shouldn't feel ashamed to take a selfie. It's just expressing your confidence in yourself. And whether it's edited or whether it's not edited, who cares? You're still the same person on the inside and that's what ultimately matters. But there is obviously, you know, Photoshop and the crazy massive editing that people do. But if you want to smooth out your skin and get rid of a pimple here and there, I, I don't see any harm in doing that whatsoever. Just keep that in mind. If you go to someone's page and they've got like 30,000 followers or if they have three followers and you see an edited photo that maybe the contrast is bumped up or the brightness is turned down or it's black and white who cares you know at least it, they're the same person on the inside and that's what I really want to stress is people had been really 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 criticizing me and you know just hammering on me so much uh, when I first started doing the smooth skin effects um, like a year or so ago and in all honesty, I just liked the effect of it. I thought it was fun. Uh, being a photographer, I like to kind of play around with effects and everything on, on with photo editing. That's like 90% of the fun of taking pictures is playing, playing with the effects and see how many different ways you can make one picture look. It's so amazing and I look at it as an art. I was just getting so criticized on the fact that I edit my photos, but in all actuality, who doesn't edit their photos once in a while? You know, it's fun. It's it's a creative outlet for a lot of people and it's a form of art. Please take this video for what it is. You know, I'm just taking pictures, you know. it's I'm still the same person on the inside. So again, if you want to see how I edit my Instagram photos, uh, stay tuned for that if it isn't up already. And with that being said, I am going to go ahead and go. I want you guys to tweet me your selfies at Amanda31409 so I can see all of your beautiful, 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 beautiful faces. And with that being said, I will go ahead and talk to you guys in my next video. So until then, so long, stay strong, stay true, and be you. Bye.